morning, boss tube. Welcome to my channel. I'm Athena. This is my channel, um, Stitching Goddess Designs. <laughs> I almost forgot my channel name. Um, this is a channel about cross stitch and Harry Potter and some t shirts. Look at this t shirt, you guys. I'm so proud of this t shirt. Oh, I mean, you're getting quite the reflection off that gold, but that just shows how shiny it is. I love it. I love it. Um, so this is obviously going to be a recap of the Black Noodle Society retreat with the Night Garden theme. Um, we've had an amazing week. Uh, back to back retreats. That's a no go for me. I'm going to, I'm going to not want to do that ever again. Um, too much stitching, if that's a thing during retreats, um, there were stitching injuries that happened. Y'all. No. Yeah. Like, people were getting injured from stitching too much. Um, and then towards the end of the second retreat, I was totally peopled out. Like, I'm an introvert. Um, I know being in your own home and doing a digital retreat, it's like kind of different than just going out and peopling, but kind of not like it took so much effort for me to push that camera on. Um, <clears throat> I kind of just jumped into recap, didn't I? Thank you for coming back. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. If you're new, um, we're going to retreat recap. And I did so much stitching, like so much. So during Frogwarts, I feel like I did a lot. I, I did do a lot because I got really close to a year to finish. And that's a lot of stitching. Um, but then this retreat, I got a lot of finishing done. Pretty proud of myself. Um, so I have some finishes and some whips to show. So... Anyways, um, jump back into the recap. This retreat was a lot more mellow, chill, a lot more time to actually just sit and stitch and talk. Um, you had two hour stitching challenges instead of one hour. So you weren't, you weren't supposed to be so rushed. Like you were supposed to be able to take your time and get your stitches in. Um... And it did kind of commit us to like sitting and stitching for like a two hour time block. And then everybody would kind of get off, take a break, get something to eat, go to the bathroom. And inevitably, like right at the end of a two hour stitch challenge or shortly after, there would be a game of some sort. So everybody would jump off and play the game and kind of reset and have a little bit of a break. And then the next challenge would start. So... It was nice having breaks and not jumping from like boom, 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 boom. Because that's Frogwarts. Frogwarts is intense. And it's supposed to be. Like, it's a, it's a digital retreat on steroids. So, this one is definitely just more chill. Stitch, relax. What do we, what do we say? Bloom, stitch, thrive. Um, so... There were games still, we still did the digital dives, we did the stash dives, um, and for this one we did stash bingo, which is you get patterns in your stash, 25, 24 patterns, because you got the free space, and you put them on a bingo card, and then Katie and Lara would then call, like they would spin a wheel and they would call like common features of a pattern, and if you had it, you had to pick one, you could only pick one, and you mark it off. So, like, um, Stitched on Black um, was one of them. <laughs> Has a swear word, came up almost every single bingo game, it was kind of funny. Um, part of a series. I mean, just kind of things like that. So that was fun. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what else? Like, a lot of it was just chilling. I did participate in a couple of stash dives in my room shows the signs of it all. Um, but I definitely am feeling the need to organize some patterns in here because 
I have acquired a lot of stash and I've just kind of been like shoving it in a drawer or in a bag and I need to like get them in the binders so that they go with everything else. God, my hair. You guys, okay, so I didn't film, so I'm filming today on Wednesday. I didn't say that either. Um, hi, five minutes in. I'm filming today, it's Wednesday, it is July 21st, yeah. And normally I would be filming on Tuesday, give myself time to edit, upload, blah, 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 and then have it up on Wednesday. Um, couldn't, couldn't turn that camera on yesterday. So Monday I did absolutely nothing. I stayed in bed all day. I left my bed for food and bathroom. That was it. I watched Gilmore Girls because that's the next retreat coming up in three weeks. Um, not a lot of breaks here. Um, but so much fun. So much fun. Um, so I binged some Gilmore Girls on Monday and just laid in bed and like stared at my phone and that was it. Like there was not a whole lot. I didn't stitch. I didn't do anything. Um, sorry, something in the eye. Hang on. Pause please. Okay. It's, <laughs> she love in my house whenever we're like, oh, something's in my eye and the, the immediate response is your finger. Anyways, um, yesterday I w was able to venture out of my bedroom. Um, luckily my husband is out of town so I really could like veg, veg, veg. Um, got out of my room, did, um, actually did some stitching yesterday, uh, planned some trips that I got coming up. Planned my next universal, planned, uh, kind of sort of planned, worked on it a little bit. Um, my, I am, I don't know if I've even told you guys here this yet, like here announcement. Um, I am going to Stitch West in Salt Lake City, Utah, um, hosted by Snow Carver Crafts. Super excited. Um, I got my email to join like right after or right before the whole stitch con thing i remember like being on that stitch con high and like yes bye right now i'm in i was had so much fun at stitch con i was ready to dive into another one um and luckily met uh an amazing lady at stitch con zan she's crazy band ladies crazy band lady stitches yes on floss tube and on instagram um, but she reached out to me and asked if, um, sh if I would like to share a hotel room with her. So yes, we're going to do that. Um, so we'll be bunking together. Um, September is going to be, um, universal and I will hang out with Stacy Stitches on Floss Tube here and cause she lives not very far. So she's going to come visit me there. And then, um, Galleria. Like, literally the next week after I get home from Universal is going to be Galleria. So that's going to be super fun. Um, speaking of, like, thinking, like, pl like looking at the calendar-wise, if I film on Tuesday, um, I'll be filming that, um, I'll be filming Floss Tube in Universal again. Anyways, um. Like, all the, all the trips. All the trips and stuff happening. Two in September, one in October, a big one in November. We're going to make it work. Um, my husband has been to 49 of the 50 states. And he has one left to check off his bucket list. He travels for work, so obviously he's like every week in a new place. Um, but yeah, we're going to check Hawaii off in November so excited hopefully I mean we haven't really officially booked anything yet um, cross your fingers for us we're we're stockpiling points and everything else but mm, it's exciting um, yeah did trip planning <laughs> did some stitching um, caught up with Beth after her trip 
Um, just, yeah, kind of just chilled yesterday as well and couldn't, didn't really want to like take the time to like make this pile over here and sit down and start filming. Um, other than that, let's see what else when I filmed last week, I think that, I think Nico got home that night that I filmed, if that sounds right. If I filled you guys in on this already, please just tune me out. But he got home from his DC New York trip, had so much fun, um, slightly sunburned, and definitely talked our ears off all the way home. It was um, a lot of fun. I can tell he had a lot of fun. He's got a lot of new memories, um, which is great. I mean, that's the whole point of the trip is being able to have those experiences and memories um, kind of all of your all your own like a lot of you know all of the trips that they have taken is like family trips so it's like memories are all of ours but this trip is like just theirs and memories for them to have so that's fun anyways that's it like life update wise like yeah retreat and Nico came home and my oldest came home to do laundry. Like, it was the first time I had seen him in a while. So, okay. Let's caffeinate. And we can get into some finishes and haul. And, oh, yeah. Okay, so first finish was definitely year two. I did not want to pick year two back up again. I wanted, I was done. I was burned out on it. I had worked so much on it during Frog Wars. I didn't want to pick it up again. So I told myself I really wanted to pick up was the Blackbird that I had started. I didn't get enough of a start on it to like satisfy my itch for that whip. Um, so I told myself that if I got year two done, I can pick up um, the Blackbird. So I did it. I did it. Complete. Um, here's the whole thing. And we start over here at the burrow. And we've got the car. We've got our cat Hermione. We've got the tree. Aragog. Sorry, I can't see what you guys are seeing. Um, a slug up there. Um... Above Expelliarmus, there's a slug. Uh, Mandrake. This, the head of the basilisk, this, like, took me forever. This down here is a sock. A lot of people are confused as to what that is. Um, okay, so let me go over kind of what I tweaked and changed. Um, nothing in the burrow. I changed the colors in here, and I said that on a previous floss tube. It was, like, 818, 819, something like that. Um, are the colors that I changed in here, DMCs. Um, a toile is horrible, you guys know this, but I think you're kind of getting it. The potion, I changed the white to a toile, and then I blended an a toile purple and gray, I don't know the numbers, and um, pulled off this sparkly potion, kind of a look, for the um, polyjuice potion, gosh, words. Um, all of the webs, like you can see a spider hanging from a web there. Those are all done in a toile and including Aragog's web. They're all done in a toile. Two strands so you can actually, they pop more. Um, all of the words and enemies of the air beware is done in a toile. Because I'm doing Ada, I did this in backstitching down here and I kind of just, um, started at the end and made some eyelets till I, met the words um whew, my arms are getting tired because I'm leaning so far forward oh <sighs> okay let's see what else did I change um didn't change anything in our dog didn't change anything in the tree Hermione um I changed her skin tone to old purple paint and then her Hair, I believe, is. Oh no. 
oh what was her hair it's not the same color as her dress her dress is definitely witching hour but her hair is one of the browns i'm sorry i can't remember it's definitely in the like called for colors it might be like can you guys hear the birds if you guys were part of the retreat they get up in my porch that's definitely a cardinal making that one though um and they echo I can't, I can't there's nothing i can do about that sorry um but yeah i changed her hair to a brown and said so, because it was more of like a orangish as called for and and then no she's got brown hair so didn't change anything in the mandrake the sword is all done in a twall the whole thing and I believe the there like that's part of the pattern that it's called for in the it gives you the atoll colors the there's a different color so there's like the main diary and then kind of around the fang there's a different color called for in there I think it was like current and I'm like, is that supposed to be blood? And Katie's like, no, it's supposed to be ink. And I was like, okay. So I grabbed this dark atoll in the sword and put it there. So it's like kind of shimmery ink on the diary. Um, stitched the flash in a atoll so it kind of shimmers. You guys know this atoll doesn't show up at all. Um... I think his eye, yeah, Basilisk's eye is in a twall, the yellow, a twall. Mm. I think that's it. I think everything else is pretty much stitched, called for. Even this cauldron is stitched, called for, but I just love the way the variegation laid on it. Um... I'm trying to think if anything jumps, trying to anything else jumps out at me. I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's it. I just threw a lot of a toile in there. And I kind of changed up Hermione and the car's colors. Other than that, yeah. I love it. Love it. Um, now, I just got to burn it. I already do have a frame. I do have the frame, the floating frame. Um, I think somebody was interested in maybe a video of me burning it. Who's interested in that? Um, we'll see. I kind of just go out on my back porch and light the thing on fire. I did trim it so it was like a lot closer and then just singed the edges. So um, if you're interested in that, let me know. I might try to film that outside. Um, maybe I'll do like a time lapse and it'll just be like a quick, whew. that'd be fun. Okay, finish number one. You guys, I'm like sitting way back here and I have to be like way up. <laughs> okay, so super, super stoked about this one. Um, because I got to finish that, or because I finished that, I got to work on this. So what I decided to do was stitch these four and this together as one piece. But I had, I re, these are not in the same places, which is fine. Um, and I changed all the colors. I changed the fabric, but this is my tribute piece to Barb. Um, yeah, so that, I don't know, I'm just going to show you. <laughs> it's amazing. It's getting blown out. It's like right here, but up close, here you go. Um, none of the called for colors. So I used 310, um, DMC four and DMC 740. 740 is the orange, four is the gray. Um, the pattern kind of calls for these to all be orange and these to all be orange, but I wanted to throw in some more gray. Um, I'm getting like a definite, 
um, Beetlejuice vibe off of this. When I was stitching this border, I was like, ooh, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, lots of words. I left the B in there as called for. It gives you a whole alphabet so you can put your own initial in there, but I left the B in there for Barb and then I backstitched in 2021. Um, yeah, I have a ton of this fabric still left, like a lot of this fabric left. So I don't, I don't know. I'll save it for something else. I don't know if I will stitch more of this. I mean, none of the rest of it is really like screaming at me. So it might just be, it might just be this and I'm thinking like a pillow I'm thinking a pillow um we'll see not 100% I might sit on this one a little bit normally I get it off and I'm like finish it finish it finish it finish it FFO um but I'm not too sure I'm not too sure um so yeah super 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 excited about this one I absolutely love it I love it <laughs> Maybe that could be my picture. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, it has, I guess because it has meaning. Maybe it's like more exciting. I don't know. But I just really love the way it came out. Really, really do. Okay, so then I finished that. And then I was like, okay, time for some whip go ketchup. Um, May was, what was May? It was, maybe it was 100 owls. I, don't, I had one of the goals already done, but then the second goal was to work on my um, Spooky Hollow series by um, Little Stitch Girl. This isn't the one I did. The one I was working on was number three. Um, in the series it was the dance hall this is the one I was working on yep I pinned it with a bobby pin I don't care um that's the one I was working on so the goal was to get that done that entire pattern done it was a little overzealous of me um but that barn was huge enormous huge enormous like I wasn't prepared for how giant it was right I ironed it. I took it off the Q-snaps. That's amazing. Okay, so one, two, three. Woo! Can you, even with this fabric, fabric I did myself, um, absolutely love it. But yeah, there's one. And there will be, this border will go all the way around. I'm just being lazy about the border. There's two. And there's three. Done. And can you even with a dancing skeleton? I just like this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't. Um, I love it. Love it, love it. Um, stitching all those little music notes was kind of annoying, but worth it in the end. Love it. And <clears throat> what I thought is funny is my needle minder is... Um, from Hocus Pocus. It's the, I don't know, I only remember Winifred's name, but I can't remember her name. The blonde. But can you guys, like, it's Little Stitch Girl. <laughs> and I didn't even realize that until like, I don't know, just recently. And she's been on here this whole time. So yeah, I have Little Stitch Girl on my pattern. Um, so there will be one more over here and then, um, it'll be a four by three grid because there's 12 patterns all together. So four, and there'll be three rows of four when this thing is done. It's going to be huge, enormous, huge, enormous. I don't know what I'm going to do with it either. It's a giant frame. Um, <clears throat> but there you go. I love it. Love it, love it. And I think that it might be on my Whipco board 
twice so I might pull this back out might I think I will have to pull this back out for um, another Ripco call at some point this year it could it could be July I don't even know because I don't know what July was called for um, I kind of tuned out because I knew I was so far behind so May is done May is done that means that we have June left um, or we need to do June and then July and August is getting ready to be called like any day now so I need to make piles as I go here um, I told myself if I got that finish then I was allowed to pick up my long dog so all week long I've been like coercing myself get this done so you can do that because um, my long dog was really calling to me um, somebody wanted to see it over the weekend I pulled it out I looked at it I, like, oh, I want to work on you um, so death by cross stitch you know it we love it um, top corner starting so I'm up here um, this is the floss I'm using it is the Unicorn Colorway by Dying for Cross Stitch, Kathy Davidson. And here we go. Um, I got all of the diagonal. So I was stitching this on the diagonal. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, which started off really fun. And got really annoying. Um, so I'm done with the diagonal. So then I just started down here and kind of worked my way up through that. And they look like books. You guys, they look like open books. I think it's cool. Um, yeah, I didn't count my stitches. I think I'm going to work on this a bit more today because it's just calling to me. And I want to get this center um, kind of design started there. And then I, a thousand is my goal. So I did two rows of this diagonal right here. And then I did all of this in here. So it could be a thousand. I don't know. Um, but I like the way it kind of, doesn't it look like bigger up here and then it gets skinnier? That's so weird to me. But it's not, it's the same. It's like an optical illusion or something. <laughs> um, fun fact. All that back stitch, so there's like back stitching in the middle of the there. I didn't even realize I was supposed to be back stitching that until after I was done. I was like, is that back stitch in there? Yes, that's what it is. And I miss, missed it, so I went back and did it. But I love it. I love it. I love when my husband was like, wow, you're going to be done with that any time. And I pulled out the pattern and I was like, dear I've done this part it looks so big and like oh my gosh you're making so much progress yeah I've done this I have all of this left to go it's definitely um sometime when I'm 80 I'll be done with that um okay um oh the other June whip go that I need to work on. So I think I'm gonna work on that a little bit more. Call it done for my thousand, cause I'm not actually counting, I'm just gonna guess. Um, but my other whip goal, goal is to start and finish a whole pattern. Um, and I did get a start on it during Frog Wars, but you guys, that's it. That's all the start I got. Um, so basically I need to do this entire thing. And boo, boo. That's a lot of fill in. That's a lot. So, um, but those kitty cats, so cute. So cute. I want to show you the pattern there. But yeah, cauldron checker, cauldron cleaner, spell check. With, what does it say? Cauldron cleaner with enhanced spell check. We're going to get there. You and I. We'll get there together. Um, yep. That's that. 
So I think that's what I plan on working on for this next week, unless something else like screams at me. Um, I wanted to show you guys this because this is kind of stitchy haul, but I wanted to show you guys. Um, I don't know. This is definitely a when I will get to this, but I don't know when I will get to this. Um, this is the pattern that came in the Black Needle Society Night Garden box. If you haven't got your box, you don't want to be spoiled. I mean, I think everybody's got their box except one person I know. We need to, but anyways, um, we got this one, this pattern, and it's huge. It's, it's deceptively large. It's 139 by 152, so that's pretty big. And then we also got this little mini. Oh, look at that snail. I'm definitely stitching that snail. That's so cute. Um, and we got the called for fabric. And this is an 18 count Ada, because my jam. Um, I think you could pick Ada linen or even weave, but the count is whatever it was called for. So the called for is like 36. So they gave me, yeah, it's French lilac from Picture This Bless. Um, and then... We also got all of the finishing accoutrement to go with both of those. So like there's a there's a thing to cut out for your round snail. There's the um, pom poms. There's the needles that go in there or the pins that go in there. Like all the things, all the things to make it look just like this. And then we have all of the things to make it look just like this. We have the ribbon, the finishing fabric, everything. And this was all put together by Lady Dot Creates. Because she did the finishing and then she put together the finishing packet. And it's like, there's heavy amounts of paper in here with all of the instructions you need to finish everything. And, oh, and we got all the floss. All the call for floss. My feet are falling asleep. Um... All the call for glasses so this tr this one truly was a kit and that is not typical that is not typical of the black needle society that's not something we normally do but yeah this one truly was a kit so we've got all the call for glasses the fit the fabric the finishing fabric and the amazing needle minder you guys it looks just like my shirt um yeah. So I was given, I mean, she gave me the design and I kind of cut it out and whatever I did, whatever I needed to do to make it, um, friendly for cricket and made it into a shirt, the needle minder. This bag, you guys, it's lights catching it. It's, um, restaurant booth material. <laughs> it's faux leather. It's just got, you know, blue inside, but this is Katie Landis's artwork from her, from her pin straight to this bag. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Got the little snail down there in the corner. Um, mushrooms over there, some crystals, little star. I love it. I love, love, love it. Love this bag. So... Now, I have this whole kit, and it can just go, needle minder, patterns, everything, into this bag. And I know exactly what this bag holds. Perfect. I love it. There was obviously more stuff in the box, because, you know, there's lifestyle stuff. There's a scarf and other things. But I just grabbed the stitchy stuff to show you just that. Um... A couple more things of haul is, okay, I ordered this a while ago, and this is from Crafty Pink Panda, and there's her information if you'd like to screenshot it, if it's clear enough. Um, she's definitely in a different country, I can't remember which, but you guys, look at how adorable this little danger noodle is. Oh, it looks like a donut. It's purple. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I told her like to please, please, please make me a Slytherin one. Oh my God, I would buy that one so fast. Like if you just make, you don't even have to make it like Slytherin, just make it green. Just put some green on it. <gasps> yes. Oh, so freaking adorable. It's polymer clay. I mean, it does not have a magnet on it. She's got a little stamp on the bottom. It's kind of heavy, but I mean, my idea was to put a magnet on it and make it a needle minder, but I don't know. She just might live on my Harry Potter shelf. Like, she's freaking adorable. Got all the little sprinkles on top. And everything's like on there. Like, it's not coming off. But, oh my god. And she's from a different country. I cannot remember which one. I'm so sorry. But she sent me these two little candy from wherever she is. And I'm like, hmm, I want to give those a try. So that'll be fun. Um, I'm going to pot her up there so she doesn't get broken. Oops. I have another one of those on the way. And I love some trolley gummy worms. So that's kind of what it is. Um, I'm excited for that when it comes. And then during the retreat, I was unable to buy something else. That's going to be amazing. I think it's already shipped too. Um, so hopefully maybe next week I'll have it to show you guys. <sighs> okay. That's it for haul, whips, finishes. Yeah. So now we're going to move on to some PSA. If you want to fast forward me, that's okay. But this is something that's kind of personal to me. And I don't think that I've ever really talked about it, like, ever. Um, I had a surgery, like, they found a mass, I had a surgery, all the things. Um, they did the biopsy after the mass was removed. It was a pretty complicated surgery. Um, wasn't supposed to be, but ended up being. And it was found that I have what is called Castleman's disease. Um, it is an autoimmune disease. It is a rare disease. Um, but it is an autoimmune disease that makes your lymph nodes grow and continue growing until they are removed. Um, kind of like the, the trademark of what class, like when they do the biopsy, like how they find that it is Castleman's is your lymph node will have, like when sliced, your lymph node will have rings in it like a tree because it's been growing like a tree. Um, so... There are two types of Castleman's disease. There, I mean, I mean, I feel like there's more than two types, but two main types. There's the unicentric, and there's the multicentric. And then when once you have multicentric, you can have multicentric plus all the different. There's plus a lot of categories, but unicentric means that you had the one lymph node that was affected. Um, usually, removing the lymph node is what cures you. Um, because it's a rare disease and there hasn't been, and it's fairly new and there hasn't been a lot of research done on this, um, there is research that is being done, but I feel like a lot of the research is geared more towards the multicentric. It is affecting multiple lymph nodes throughout your entire body simultaneously. You can't obviously go in and remove all of your lymph nodes, so it is treated like cancer. There are chemo type treatments and drugs that will assist in um, stopping the growth of the lymph nodes and halting the autoimmune kind of like your body attacking the lymph nodes kind of a thing. Um, so obviously that's the more dangerous aspect of this um, disease. Um, hang on, I feel like, yeah, we're going to be interrupted by a son really soon. Um, I may have to pause if he comes in. Um, definitely more dangerous, definitely more, um, deadly and more complication and all of the things. Um, it has affected people from all ages, um, children to seniors, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a rare disease, so there's really not a lot of people affected by this. I'm part of a Facebook group, 
and um, I mean, there's there's a couple hundred people in there, like, and we're worldwide. So, but there are a lot of um, people that are diagnosed unicentric, and that's where I am currently. I go and get scans annually to make sure that nothing else is going wonky. But currently, I have the one. I had it removed. I'm cured. However, um, having spoken to numerous people in the group that are unicentric and cured, we have a lot of symptoms still. We have a lot of stuff going on and we all have the same things happening. So we're not really sure. And of course, research, 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 research. Um, and I bring all of this up because Friday, this Friday, July 23rd, is World Castleman's Day. And um, it's to promote the awareness of Castleman's and um, maybe even, you know, donations are raised, fundraisers held, all of the things. Um, one of the big, big things that we can do as patients is to donate our samples to the research foundation, which I have done. Um, I've also donated money and stuff like that. So I got this shirt this year. Um, it's world Castleman hashtag world CD day 2021. And this is our Castleman's warrior. And it's very hard to see because of the shirt I got like right there, you can see there's a hashtag Castleman underneath. I may like bust out my cricket and print out some white and put it down there. But, um, there's our warrior. Um, this disease was really found and um, took off with research because a doctor was diagnosed and treated and is kind of like in remission over the whole thing. Um, but he is our leading Dave. He never saved his last name. Dave Fogglebaum or something like that. But he he's the one who really leads our um research and everything else so um there's your little psa there's your little um now you know <laughs> um awareness is part of it i mean it just letting people know that this is a thing and this is something that you maybe deal with so some of the side effects that, not side effects, but symptoms, I guess, that I still have and maybe deal with on the regular are fatigue, um, chronic night sweats. Um, I have muscle spasms quite a lot. Um, leg cramping. I mean, there there's a list of things. And I even once went in the Facebook group and was like, these are the symptoms I'm having. If you are also unicentric, can you select all that you have as well? And I would love to see like how in common we are and then add what you think needs added. And people added things that I hadn't even, I had, but I hadn't even like at thought to add. Um, so yeah, we are all experiencing very similar symptoms. So it's kind of interesting in that aspect and it's nice to know that other people are feeling the same way that you're feeling because when I go to my primary care he's just like well exercise and diet and I'm like mm, eh, mm, I don't think that's it <laughs> I mean yes maybe that will probably help but I mean mm, I don't think that's it um, regardless awareness is key and just I don't know you know if you're feeling generous and you have $10 that you would like to donate to a cause, World Castleman's Disease, um, Castleman, it's literally Castleman, one word. Um, maybe if I am like can find a link, I can put a link below. Um, I'm not really asking you guys to go and throw your money at something, but um, if you feel inclined. Um, but awareness is really what I'm going for.
it is a thing it is out there um yeah that's it that's my psa on that world castleman's disease friday it's a thing okay let's do some stitchy haul let's get on to something better than all of that um oh i do have a model that i need to be working on hmm go figure where is <laughs> hey you guys remember that fabric that i was like i don't know where that's coming from i don't know what this fabric is well y'all got a sneak peek this is a model i'm working on and this is the fabric for it <laughs> Oh, Michelle's going to be like cracking up. I wonder if she watched that last week's video. I was like, um, that's my fabric, actually. <laughs> Not yours. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Um, I got some pins. Let me show you some pins. Okay, here we go. Um, these are from Nerdy... Nerdy Needle Design Co. And they are amazing. Amazing. Okay, so we've got Weasley, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. We've got a bean up here, and the bean says Sky Doom Snack Box. We've got some Quidditch Keeper Weasley is our King, Wizard Chess. Um, the howler so this is like a Ron pen basically this is everything Ron related and then this one down here is the weird sisters Tonks a Hufflepuff scarf her one yeah so this whole thing is a Tonks pen down here oh my gosh these pens are amazing 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 and they all have like multiple backs to them too so awesome 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 um what does this thing say wake up and wake up and be awesome i think is what the card says um so these are handy downs to me love them love them love them and then we have another set of pens there's just a whole bunch in here so and she kind of just stuck them all on this card for me so let's just enjoy them all together um this is maleficent but also the dragon with the golden egg so it's a crossover and you see um harry in the back there this is alice in wonderland but also a crossover with luna lovegood and i freaking love this pin it says <clears throat> you're just as sane as i am on one side and we're all mad here on the other side amazing a niffler with aladdin's lamp so that's a crossover as well um then this one just says what a puzzle to the rest of us Know about this one it's a mirror but I'm, I'm i'm confused on that one patronus just as sane um hogwarts in a uh globe and then a hufflepuff pride which i'm not a hufflepuff but that's okay <laughs> it can go on my little shelf with all the houses so yay love all of those pens love them all um do, 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 do. What else is in this box here? Um, okay, we'll show one more thing here. Oh, there's some cool stuff down there. I didn't even realize. Okay, we're, gonna, we're, we're just going to have stuff for a couple weeks. Department of Magical Transportation. And it's like a little... Um, picture wallet thingy so that's cute cute and then this is just a jar full of owl shaped pen <laughs> little clips maybe I need to use this to clip my patterns together instead of bobby pins 
but that's cute. Okay. That's it for this week. That's it for this week. The rest we're saving for other weeks. That's my magical haul this week. And I get rid of the whole empty box. Yay. Okay. Um, yep, we're almost at an hour. And yeah. Oh! <sighs> I almost ended this, you guys. I made the wheel and everything. Okay. Um, I know my son is at home, so he might be coming in any second. Um, but let's do this real quick and then we'll be done. The rainbow needle miner. If you guys hung out all the way to the end, congratulations. Um, <laughs> rainbow needle miner. Everybody's on the wheel there. I know it's blurry. You can't see yourselves, but trust me, you're all there. And let's do this. Spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it. And, oh, I can't read backwards. Ariana Alvarez. Ariana Alvarez, congratulations. I'm going to send you that rainbow, um, sorting hat needle minder thing and I will get that in the mail to you congratulations yay um yeah <laughs> I almost forgot <laughs> um okay that's it for me this week and I'm gonna get this I don't even think I have to edit it like I don't have there's no cuts in here or anything so I'm gonna slap a beginning and an end and get it uploaded so you guys can see it today um I will talk to you guys next week bye